Okay, listen. Uh, first of all, I am going to make my questions video I'm working on. I re record everything with my girlfriend reading the questions. I tried to answer them as they came in, and I ended up with a bunch of clips that to edit were like, what? So I redid it with one more or less one big clip to edit that was easier. But I've been taking time on some other things too. Uh, I wanted to give a response to see inside her. Composer 63 has done a video about bipolar uh, and serial killers. And also on this channel you can see some pictures in this, this theme of his that he's exploring. And uh, See Inside Her made a video. And the video was more was, uh, reasonable, and the, the criticism is reasonable. The description called him an asshole, and I think kind of inspired and said to take down this video. Um, and subsequently, also, See Inside Her made a, vi a video about how she'd taken a walk, made a video she couldn't put it up because it's her own past experiences with issues, and she doesn't want to be judged. Well, look at all that stigma. And then criticizing, uh, see inside of you, criticizing, uh, as I've discussed with you in your comments, um, composer for discussing this. Um, it, to me, it, to put it succinctly, you know, you criticize it based on, well, you don't have a degree to say that there's this link. And um, so that's in defense of some hypothetical BPD person. They might come on and think composer is saying this from the perspective of a PhD in a research project, uh, whereas he actually has BPD and you call him an asshole. What kind of emotional, you know, that doesn't seem responsible. And also, I'm getting interested in this personality disorder, but it has a lot of the problems that psychology has in general. What I like about it is there's sort of a, there's a synthesis to it. It is different as narcissism is from avoidance. You can see how it's kind of basically hang up stressing out over the same kind of emotional issues. I like that cohesion, but you can't put too much stock into it. It also appears that you were a bit hasty saying there's, you know, no possible link. And then, uh, you know, outside Menham goes over there, a bunch of people I recognize, and as far as I'm concerned, they're trolling Composer 63. And, uh, which is, which is crazy stuff, as if he's, this is a lack of perception if you think he's trolling. He's actually investigating this from the, from the uh, scary and obviously brave position of facing this stuff himself. You know, um, I also think that this is what we have to go through to really address the demonization issue. You see, I can want to arrest a criminal. I can even imagine wanting to do criminal punishment to someone without thinking of them as a demon. You know, with realizing that there's some sympathy for how they got to that point, or even what they were thinking, or the basic emotions, or the brain chemistry they were victim to, or brain damage. You know, the interesting thing about personality disorder, two things. One, we all have various symptoms, so I think there's room for understanding, including antisocial disorder. But even more over it really is but there for the, excuse me, but for the grace of God, uh, there but for the grace of God go I. Because any of us could have a brain injury, and brain injuries cause, uh, sometimes cause personality sort of sin, depending on obviously how it comes out. So, so anybody can really find themselves including with a personality disorder or a mood disorder that leads to v constant violent thoughts, you know. And it's just uh, the way the brain is, part of the mechanistic part of the brain. So um, my main thing is not, I, I don't know whether he, Composer is correct in his, the theories he's advocating. I know there's, is, there's some sources to that belief. Um, and what I really believe is that we should have the conversation, and I think see inside her was stopping the conversation, and perhaps she, uh, I'm not sure see inside her, I'm not sure if you have, uh, I think in the comments you kind of admitted, okay, maybe I did try to stop the conversation too much. I understand your reaction. I want you to give that reaction, but is this more of, a, instead of an asshole thing, instead of, lending any idea to that there's something dishonest or a motive. You know, what you really want to say is that this is a foolhardy thing that you're doing. Um, 
But I think you have to think about, well, why do the professionals in this not want to come talk about it? Like, there's all these, again, these the gang stalkers, you know? And if it's real or not, I mean, where are all the mental health professionals? And they're off time, and or even on time. Where, why? Because we can't talk unless you come and pay us and come in our office or get committed for three days. I mean, we're tongue-tied about it. And we don't want you guys to talk about it because you should only talk about it if you're professional. And as a professional, I know you better not talk about it. It's like, so we shouldn't talk about it. And I know that's not your intention. That's why I'm bringing it up um, because that's the result. And that's sort of the derived intention from it. So, yeah, I think um, I think that was really uh, somewhat ill-advised and sort of inappropriate and that we should discuss this issue and you should just simply say why you don't think there's a link um, rather than say uh, silence basically um, a lot of people the comments that I saw in there wise monkey also don't understand his reactions at all um, Mel I'm not sure what her position was because I don't like that you know, pigeonhole and go well you said that it means that and so she was just balanced so that means I'll stay reserved but I think I pretty much agree with Mel's take on it and again it was a brutally honest kind of a let's face facts and I think we all should face facts yes anybody could be driven to that I think I have an ethic I'd never be driven to that doesn't mean I can't get a spike through my head and suddenly you know I lose my anger inhibitions and who knows you know so I think any of us and certainly we all have the elemental emotions that we can imagine well if that thing ran away and this part that said hey cool down didn't happen i would get there too we could see that so you know to see that there's these potentials <clears throat> is also to see well i'm not that far gone if you happen to be you know diagnosed with some something um you know nobody seems to have a problem saying the antisocial disorder formerly known as sociopath related to the psychopathic kind of tendencies um, or diagnoses rather evidently you know he seems to say you know that we can't say that that's related that's demonizing too most people with that disorder do not kill do not find it in their best interest you know it has to be extra things abuse and extra um, forcing ones into this path there's a path involved just because you're this type of person doesn't mean you go there most of them don't so let's figure out why they don't and where they really you know what I mean where things really change and become sort of irrevocable for people and what should they do in those situations and how can we look at it rationally it's an interesting issue for the atheist community because to a certain degree I think one of the most healthy things you can do if you're dealing with this kind of thing again whether it's just ordinary emotional turmoil we all go through or runaway emotional turmoil is dominating your whole life is you know being atheist helps because if you hear voices in your head you have a psychological atheistic view you're gonna go wow my brain's giving me voices even if you feel like I think it's a person you can still feel like well I know I think it's a person because my brain's able to do that you know you can kind of jump ahead of this this can give you at least some edge you don't have otherwise right whereas people that believe in ghosts and fairies and stuff I, even if you know that you hear voices sometimes well that one was real though you know it's like hard to distinguish so so there is a with any good youtube atheists are just interested in going looking for people to make fun of and put down so in that sense it's not really appropriate for youtube atheism but it is appropriate for um, non-theistic thinking the issue is, is pertinent so okay that's my feedback on that i hope you didn't feel too criticized it's like nobody's about criticism um, cheers.